I say, how do you do to a fine young zebra by the name of Sue? you planted in the spring. Yep, and they're all ready for digging up. And then we can have mashed and chips and baked potatoes and everything. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes! Oh, what's for breakfast? Hmm, potatoes? Hmm? <laughs> I'm only joking, Bizu. Oh! <laughs> 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 Come on. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hmm? Hi, Grandpa. Funny thing, I could have sworn I heard someone shouting something about potatoes earlier on. That was me. We're digging up potatoes today, Grandpa. Oh, of course we are. I'd almost forgotten. So, why don't we get started right away? <laughs> hmm? oh, that'll be Aunt Zelda and Uncle Xavier. Aunt Zelda? That usually means Zinnia, too. Come in. Hello, my dear. Hello. Oh, that's a pretty dress, Zinnia. Yes, Daddy bought it for me when I passed my ballet exam. <laughs> I had to do lots of plies, like this. And one, and two, and one, and two. Well done, my darling. Zoo, your aunt and uncle have asked if we'll look after Zinnia for the day while they go to the tennis finals. They've been invited to sit in the royal box. So why aren't they taking Zinnia with them? I don't think foals are allowed. Zoo! <laughs> Come on, Pock. Hello, Aunt Zelda. Mm. Hi, Uncle Xavier. Hi, Zinnia. Hello, Zoo. Do you like my dress? Uh, yes. Very nice. Daddy bought it for me for passing my ballet exam. And then we put her down for tap dancing lessons. She's taken to it like a duck to water, haven't you, Princess? <laughs> yes, Daddy. Do you want to see how it's done, Sue? Huh? And uh, tap together, tap will change. Tap together, tap will change. Tap together, tap will change. She's already the best dancer in the class, you know. Now, dear, time we were off. We can't keep the Archduke waiting, can we? See you later, my darling. Tap, will change. Tap, 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 will change. Ta da! Hmm. What do you want to play, Zinnia? Ready, Zoo. Oh, yes. Me and Grandpa are going to dig up potatoes. Want to help? In the garden? I don't think so. It's full of mud, and I don't like mud, and there might be worms, and I hate worms! Well, <laughs> we'll just have to make sure you don't meet any, won't we? Come on! Potatoes! 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 But... Oh, these, Grandpa. 
Now, that's a fine lot of spuds. Let's see what I can come up with. <laughs> oh, that's not much of a potato, is it? There's not enough there to feed even Pock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Pock likes potatoes. <laughs> How can I tap dance on this? <clears throat> it doesn't make any noise at all. Well, perhaps you'd like a go at potatoing. No, thank you, Grandpa. I'll just do some ballet instead. What's the matter? Uh, a worm! A horrid big, big worm! <gasps> Don't worry, Zinnia. I'll get it. I'm not afraid of worms. Oh! <laughs> Zoo? What's so funny? <laughs> it's not a worm. It's a caterpillar. Imagine being frightened of a caterpillar. <laughs> Poor Zinnia. Poor Zinnia? But it's just a caterpillar. No one's scared of a caterpillar except Zinnia. <laughs> well, people can be scared of the strangest things. Huh? Do you remember when we went hot air ballooning? Yes, that was brilliant. But... You didn't think it was quite so brilliant before we went up in it? Oh, no. I didn't. As I remember, you were really scared. Yes, I suppose I was. Scared of going all the way up in the air and... But you and Elsie helped me, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Um, I could help Zinnia. <laughs> Good idea. Zinnia! Uh, well, take it away, Zoo. It isn't a worm, Zinnia. Look, it's a caterpillar. It won't hurt you. Uh, Come on, just take a look. It's all furry and it's got a really cute face. <gasps> Not too close. Um, Don't worry. It is quite cute. Do you want to hold it? I think you two might be quite interested in this. Look. What's that? It's called a cocoon. It used to be a caterpillar. Really? It doesn't look anything like a caterpillar. Not anymore. You see, when a caterpillar is fully grown, it spins a long silk thread around itself until it's completely covered. That's called a cocoon. Hear that, Labella? You can spin silk! And it fastens itself to a plant with more silk. Then, something quite marvellous happens. What? The caterpillar, which is inside the cocoon, changes shape. What's it doing? Watch! What? <sighs> You're going to be a butterfly one day. A beautiful butterfly. <sighs> well, that's a good day's work, Sue. We've got enough potatoes to feed an army now. Zinnia, darling, time to go home. Coming, Mummy. Come, 
along, Labella. <laughs> Get it away from me! Zinnia, put that nasty thing down. It's not an it. She's a she. And she's not nasty. Labella is quite the most beautiful creature ever. And she's going to be even more beautiful. She's going to be a butterfly. So there. <gasps> no! <laughs> Imagine being scared of a caterpillar. Imagine. <laughs> we'll have to hurry or we'll be late for lunch. Oh, sorry I've taken so long getting ready. I was looking for my other silver earring. I left them both on the windowsill and now one seems to have gone missing. Go and have lunch, Mum. We'll look for it. Won't we, Grandpa? Of course. Thank you, Bizu. <sniffs> See you later. Bye! Let's start in the bedroom and then search the whole house. OK, Zoo. Let's do it. Nothing here, Zoo. Or here. So, where can it be? Hello, all. Mum! Hmm. You're back early. We haven't found your earring yet. How was your lunch? Yeah, I forgot my wallet, so we didn't stop for lunch. So, anyone fancy a snack? Oh, yes, yes please. please. Coming up. <laughs> hmm, I'm running low on milk and butter. Can someone go to Mr. Zoe's? I'll pop along later as we need some cereal as well. You want to come too, Zoo? Yes, please, Grandpa. Hmm. Hmm. I'll get it. Elsie? Hello. Is Zoo in? Yes. Come in. It was by my open window. And now it's gone. It was my birthday present. My favourite silver bracelet. Mum, what if someone took your earring and Dilsey's bracelet? Oh, I don't know, Zoo. Why would someone take one earring? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. And both things will turn up very soon. I know. Let's look in the garden to see if they're there. OK, Grandpa. No earring or bracelet here. Let's check your house, Elsie. <laughs> Nothing here either. Well, we had a good look and we didn't find anything. Now, do you want to come to Mr Zoe's with me? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, then. Hello there. Oh, hello, Mr Zoe. I'll take some of my favourite cereal, please. Oh, and some butter. And a bottle of milk, the extra creamy one with the foil top. 
You'll have to have a carton. Someone's taken all my bottle tops. Really? What next? Everything silvery seems to be going missing. Zoo's mum's earring's gone. And my bracelet. Oh. Don't you think that's strange, Elsie? Even the bottle tops now, they're silver too. Yes. What's going on? Hmm. Very odd business, Mr Zoe. Hopefully we'll get to the bottom of the mystery soon. Yes. I hope so. Bye. 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 Wow! Look at this, Grandpa. Oh, yes. That's a magpie feather. It's really cool. Yes. Yes, it is. Let me know if you find out anything. I will, Elsie. See you later. Bye. Hello, you two. You'd best come up here. Mm -hmm. Grandma's favourite brooch is missing now as well. Oh, poor Grandma. She loves that brooch. Coming, Grandma. My brooch! It was right here. I opened the window to let in some air, and then it was gone. Hmm. What's this? <gasps> A feather! Just like before! A magpie feather? Yes! They're the same! You know, Zoo, this might be a clue. We have to check something out in my bird book. OK, Grandpa. Mm. Ah, here we are. Now then, uh, it, ah, it says magpies like shiny objects. Hmm, maybe they like silvery objects. They shine too. But I have a way we can be sure. We need something shiny and big enough so the magpie can see it. Perfect. Now we just have to wait for him to come back. a cheeky one. Oops! Look! It's gone! The magpie must have taken it. We have to see him take the badge. I think I have an idea. This time I'll get you, Mr Magpie. <laughs> well, I'd never... He really likes shiny things. Hey! Come back! Quick, Sue, the garden! <laughs> Stop that bird! What's all the fuss here? The magpie is the culprit. Zoo set a trap and it took his badge. A magpie, of course. They're known for taking shiny objects. Hmm. Look, Elsie. I think that's where your bracelet went. The magpie just took my badge up there. Yes, he's got something shiny in his beak. It's probably got a nest up there. I'll go and fetch the ladder so we can take a look. Thanks. Excuse me, Mr Magpie. Here you go. I'm going to keep this very safe from now on. Oh! And Grandma's going to be very happy about this. What is Grandma going to be happy about? Uh, oh, my! Where did you find my brooch? <laughs> the magpie had it in its nest. Well, I never. 
Here you go, Elsie. Your bracelet. Thank you. And here are your badges, Zoo. Thanks, Mum. You know, I feel sorry for the magpie. He doesn't have anything shiny now. Maybe if we gave it some tin foil. Tin foil? Good idea, Zoo. I'll go and get some. Here you are. Thanks, Elsie. Okay, Pock, take it to the magpie. Well, now that's all done, I think it's time we all had a treat. Especially Zoo for solving the mystery. Hooray! Mmm, yummy! Don't throw it away, Mum. Why? Do you want to keep it? I'm saving this for our magpie. Oh, Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe's really lucky to have a dog. And he's just so cuddly. Oh, it's not fair. I'd love one too. I love dogs. If I had one, I'd call him Bon Bon. Mm, I like that name. If I had one, I'd call him Woof. <laughs> That's a nice name too. <laughs> Bye, Elsie. See you tomorrow, Zoo. <laughs> How was your day? Good, thanks. Can I have a dog? A what? A dog? Why do you want a dog? I'm bored at home. I don't have any friends. Of course you do. You've got Park. But it's not the same. If I had a dog, I could play with him. Hmm. Stop it, Park. Zoe says her dog is really cuddly. But we already give you lots of cuddles. In the evening when you go to bed. In the morning before you go to school. During the day if you're tired. And dogs need a lot of attention during the day. Yes, and they've got to be walked. I know. I'll do it all, I promise. When they get in from school. But that's not enough. It's got to be walked several times a day. And the dog would get bored all alone during the day. But I'll play with him all the time. Pock, stop it. And also, dogs guard their houses. Zoo, dogs bark, drop hairs all over the place, and they've got to be taken care of. That's just not fair. Zoe's parents are nice. They got her one. Zoo. It's a no. Hmm. <sighs> I'm so unlucky. Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> Grandma, Grandpa, would you help me look after a dog if I got one? Good grief. But a dog is a huge responsibility, Zoo. It's got to be walked and... Yes, Mum and Dad told me already. And if it's your dog, well, you really should be responsible for taking care of him yourself. I know. Why doesn't anyone want me to have a dog? Well, it's not something to take on lightly. A dog is not a toy. And there is another problem. Huh? What? Grandpa is allergic to dog hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Poor Grandpa. Doesn't matter, I've got another idea. Bye! Oh! Hmm. <laughs> Nana! Nana! I might get a dog! Would you take care of him while I'm at school? Well, I can't, darling. I'm far too old to take care of a dog. Anyway, with my cane, I can't go very fast. Oh, never mind.
No luck? No. Hmm. Well, how about coming with me into the garden? I've got to do some digging. And while I do that, you can explore the garden for wild animals. <laughs> I hear there are loads hiding out there. Really? Really. Well, all right. There's nothing in this garden. Ooh. Grandpa, come and see. Hmm? I found a slug. Oh, yes. Slugs are sluggish and far too slow. They are a bit, aren't they? Let's look for another animal. Well, I'm going to get back to my gardening and you carry on exploring, all right? OK. Wow, a lizard. Shh. Oh, no. Hmm. Where did you go, lizard? An anthill with lots of ants. Grandpa was right. There are loads of animals around here. <laughs> They're tiny, they don't need to be walked, and they're not hairy. Ants will meet brilliant pets. You all right, Zoo? <laughs> Having fun? Yes, Grandpa. <gasps> Perfect. Welcome to your new home. So, Zoo, what have you found? Stop. It's a surprise. I've not yet finished the house for my aunt. Whoops. <laughs> Ants. Wait. You can look now, Grandpa. Oh, you've made a terrarium. Well done. A what? A terrarium. Hello, Grandpa. I've baked some of your favourite cookies. Oh, cookies! <laughs> Last one there loses a stripe. Come on, Ants. <laughs> uh. Tell me, Zoo, what have you got in that box? It looks as if it's moving. I've made a tether... a tether... A terrarium. It's an anthill in a box. And I put some ants in it. Look! <sighs> Your mum and dad are in for a surprise when they get back. They'll be glad it's not a dog. These are insects. Could you please put the lid back on? I am not fond of ants. But they're really nice. Uh, uh, Sue, would you come and help me finish off my planting? All right, Grandpa. See you later. <laughs> oh! Oh, get away! Oh, shoo, Grandma! Shoo. Get off! No! Oh, shoo! Grandma? The ants! They've escaped! <laughs> well, uh, don't panic! We'll get them all! Zoo, let's get these beasties out of the house as soon as possible. Otherwise, we'll be in for more. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, uh, oh, quite. <clears throat> uh, Zoo, grab whatever you can to make a fence. Mm. <clears throat> there. Now, all they've got to do is make their way out. It's not working. Oh, yeah. Now, my father told me that ants will follow a queen. If we can find the queen and take her outside, the other ants will follow her. How do we know which one is the queen? Does she wear a crown? Uh, no, Zoo. She's usually a lot bigger than the others. Grandpa, I found her. Uh, but 
try not to hurt her. Hello, Queen Ant. Look, Grandpa. All the other ants are the same size. Oh, so they are. I think I may have got it wrong. What are we going to do? Hmm. I know. Our teacher read us a story all about the Pied Piper. He made the rats follow him by playing his flute. Do you think it will work on ants? A great idea, Zoo. Let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, what is going on in here? Oh, good grief! What is all that mess? Um. You're so clever. Oh, thank you, Zoo. It was Pock's idea. Pock, I'm sorry. I don't want a dog anymore. I've already got a best friend. You. <laughs> <laughs> Our sunflower. The teacher showed me to look after her this weekend. Isn't she pretty? Well, hello, Goldie. Congratulations, Zoo. She's lovely. I've got to tell everybody. Mom, Grandma, Nana. Goldie's staying with us for the whole weekend. Oh, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Goldie. How are you? Look, I've almost finished making this stool. Uh, do you think Goldie would like it? Hmm. I, I could paint it green and yellow for her. It's just her size. You'll be nice and comfy, Goldie. Thank you, Grandpa. me to make sure that Goldie is in the sun, but out of the wind. Mm -hmm. Here, too shady. Here, too windy. The view isn't very nice. Well, what about over here? It's sunny and sheltered, and there's a lovely view of the whole garden. Grandpa, she likes it here. Her face is turned to the sun. That means she's happy. Oh, but look at her pot. I see. It's worn and chipped in places. Well, it's okay. The pot's not broken, Zoo. Zoo, let's play. Why don't you go and play with Elsie? I'm sure Goldie will be fine. I'm off to play with Elsie now, but don't worry. We'll be right here where you can see us. <laughs> Come on, Elsie. See if you can catch this one. <gasps> oh, no. Are you okay? Whoops. Oh. Elsie didn't mean to scare you. It was an accident. 
Is she hurt? Just a little shaken. little cloud. The sun will be out again soon. Zoo, you're meant to be hiding. Now it's your turn to count. I'm going to hide. <laughs> How can we play if you have to be with Goldie all the time? This is her first time out of the classroom. Everything is new and strange for her. She needs lots of care and cuddles. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Bizu, lunch. It's time for me to go too. Bye, Zoo. Bye, Goldie. Bye, Elsie. Bye. Mum, do you think Goldie's bigger after her morning in the sun? <laughs> she may be slightly taller. You can check with Grandpa after lunch. You're taking such good care of her. Hmm. Grandpa, this afternoon, can you please take me to Mr Zoe's shop? I want to buy a new pot for Goldie. Surprise! Oh, that's a great idea! Congratulations, Goldie. You're a big girl now, big enough to stay on your own. Well, I go shopping with Grandpa. It won't take long. Bye, Goldie. I'll be back soon. Mr Zoe, do you have any flower pots? Very pretty ones. Aha! I can see you're looking for something special. It's for Goldie. She's my sunflower. What about this one? Hmm, I don't know. Do you have any other ones? Let me see. Uh, isn't there one you think Goldie would like? Hmm. Come on, Zoo. Mr Zoe's waiting. What do you think, Puck? Hmm. I know what Goldie would like. A flower pot with little sunflowers on it. I'm sorry, Zoo, but these are all the pots I have. Hmm. Hold your stripes. Look, you can make your own. Stickers! Perfect! in pretty paper. Please hurry up, Grandpa. Gully's waiting. <laughs> oh, Zoo, you're back. Just in time to help me in the kitchen. But, Mum, can't I give Goldie her present first? Please? I'm sure Goldie won't mind waiting. Happy. 
Daddy, is it because I left you alone all afternoon? I didn't mean to. I couldn't make up my mind and it took a long time with the stickers. How can I make it up to you, Goldie? Oh, I know. Hold on. going to be my friend again. Cheer up, Zoo. Goldie's fine. She's only sleeping. All sunflowers bow their heads at night. Are you sure? Tomorrow morning, as soon as the sun shines again, she will lift her head and she'll be very happy to see your surprise present. Good night, Goldie. Sleep tight. Don't let the green fly bite. Come along now. It's bedtime for you, too. Dad? Huh? Dad? Mrs. Zebariah gave me a gold star for taking such good care of Goldie. And she promised me I could look after her again soon. Vegetable patch. <clears throat> See you later, Bizu. Have fun. Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're doing a very good job there, Zoo. You'll soon have these flower beds ready for planting. I love gardening. When I grow up, I'm going to have a vegetable patch. Like yours, Grandpa. <laughs> Hmm. My vegetables aren't doing so well at the moment, though. The soil's not rich enough. Ooh! Mind you, the slugs don't help. <laughs> Eating their way through my lettuces. Hey! Shoo, you slugs! Leave those lettuces alone! <laughs> I don't think they're going to listen to you, Zoo. Zoo! Grandpa! Lunch time! It's not just the slugs getting fed. <laughs> <laughs> And you slugs, keep off Grandpa's lettuces. After lunch, we'll dig in some good soil and replant some of the vegetables. Finished already, Sue? You must have been hungry. Well, I was, but I need to keep an eye on those slugs. Grandpa is lucky to have another gardener to help him. I certainly am. May I leave the table, Grandma? Off you go. You coming, Grandpa? I've not finished my fruit salad yet. Or my coffee. Oh. Ugh! I don't know how you and Grandma can drink that. It smells so strong. <laughs> well, you go and check on those slugs then. <laughs> <laughs> I've done all this. Someone's dug all this up. Grandpa, quick! Uh, what's wrong? Look. Ah, it looks as if we've had a visitor. Who? A mole. A mole? Yes, he's a little black animal that visits our garden from time to time. But why has he done all that digging? It's not very nice. It's what moles do. They live underground, and when they come up to the surface, they make little heaps of soil called molehills. Molehills. And we gardeners just have to live with them. <gasps> All right, let's get to work and get rid of these molehills. Where 
are we going to put all that extra soil? Oh, we'll put it on our vegetable patch. It'll be nice, rich soil too. So the mole helped us after all? <laughs> yes, I suppose he did. Make a really good team, don't we? <laughs> we do. <laughs> Hang on, let me give you a hand with that. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Grandpa. Not to worry, Zoo. But remember, a good team works together. I'll just move you a little bit further away. <laughs> They'll need some water now, won't they, Grandpa? Very nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> but what if the mole comes back and makes a mess of the garden again? We'll just have to make sure he doesn't. How? Oh. Let's have a look in my gardening book. Uh, ah, here we are, moles. <clears throat> this small, long-nosed animal is afraid of birds. <laughs> Hear that, Pock? Moles are afraid of you. <laughs> Moles dislike strong smells. They avoid them. Uh, now that's interesting. Maybe we could use something smelly to keep him away. Hmm, smelly. What about coffee? Hmm. <laughs> that might just work. Grandma, did Grandpa leave any of his coffee? There's a bit left in the pot. I was just about to throw it out. Why? Do you want some? Ugh. No, thank you. But Grandpa and I need it to keep the mole away. Good. <laughs> there you are. But... Thank you, dear. <coughs> Phew. There we go. I don't think the mole will dig around here again. I hope not. Yeah, but what about the rest of the garden? We'll have to protect that as well. Perhaps we could catch him and move him near to the fence. Maybe he'll dig there instead. Good idea, Zoo. I may have something to catch him with in the garage. No, that's for catching fish. We could use a fishing net. Are you sure? Well, I've caught butterflies in it before. <laughs> well, <laughs> in that case... <laughs> this mole hunting needs a lot of patience. <laughs> Oh, there he is! <gasps> Zoo, your net! <gasps> oh no! Oh, there he is again! <laughs> oh, missed again! Zoo! Yeah. Quick, Zoo! Mm. I think he was frightened of the net. Maybe he's gone forever. Oh, I'm not so sure. They're very persistent little creatures, moles. He might come back. Yes, there he is again. He 
tickles. <laughs> That'll be his claws. He uses those long claws of his to help him dig. Don't get too close, Pock, or you'll scare him. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. We just want our garden to look nice. So I'm going to move you over to the fence, where you can dig as many mole hills as you want. Is that OK? I think he likes the sound of that. Mr. Mole. Well done, Zoo. No more molehills. And thanks to Mr. Mole and all that good soil he dug for us, the vegetable patch is going to be even better than before. Hurrah for Mr. Mole! <sighs> and you, Zoo. One good turn deserves another. So, how would you like part of the vegetable patch to look after all by yourself. My very own vegetable patch? Wow! Thanks, Grandpa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Hello! We're back! Mom! Dad! Did you have a good day, Zoo? Oh, yes! We made friends with a mole! Really? Yes! Look! Here he is. Hello, Mr. Mole. Do you like your new home? Oh, it looks as if he's taken to you. Guess what I'm going to be when I grow up? I don't know, Pizu. What? A gardener. And maybe Mr. Mole will help me with the digging. We could be a team, just like me and Grandpa. I think your friend agrees. <laughs> Zoo's Nature Project Let's grow a cactus Or a sunflower How about an ivy? No, an oak tree <laughs> Hello you two, what's all this about gardening? We've been given a project to do by our teacher she says we're to do a nature project. Oh. We've got to have it ready by next week. We want to grow something. So we're trying to decide what. I see. But a week, that doesn't give you very long. An oak tree takes years to grow. There must be something we can grow in a week, even if it only grows a little bit. Hmm. Well, what about cress? It grows quickly, so it should be ready in time. But we'd better get started right away. Yes! Come on, Elsie. OK, so we'll need cress seeds, some cotton wool to put the seeds on, and plant pots. Like this? Oh, we don't need anything as big as that. Yoghurt pots will be just fine. We had some yoghurt for breakfast this morning. Maybe there's some more in the fridge. Oh, and we'll need to keep the lids from the yoghurts. Um, why, Grandpa? Because I know a certain little bird who's very keen on cress seeds <laughs> for lunch. So we'll need to keep them out of harm's way. Oh, Pock. <laughs> right. Let's get started. I've got some seeds in the garage. And I'll ask Mum for some cotton wool. There you go. One pack of cress seeds. Yay! All right, off you go. Get cressing. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in the garage. Thanks, Grandpa. One for you, one for me. But I'm not very hungry. Then there's no need to eat it, Elsie. I could do with some yoghurt for my mint sauce. <sighs> there you go. Two flower pots, all ready for planting. Thanks, Grandma. That was lucky. Plain yoghurt's not my favourite. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa said to put the cotton wool in the pots. Then we pour a little bit of water on the cotton. Then we add the seeds. <laughs> huh? 
There. All done. <laughs> Pork! Those seeds are not for breakfast. We'd better put the lids on. OK, seeds, now get growing. Let's look at the crest. Look at how much it's grown. Brilliant. It looks as if the pots have green hair. <laughs> That gives me a great idea. I'll be right back. Huh? Ta-da! <laughs> no peeking. It's a surprise. <gasps> <gasps> That's a great idea, Zoo. I'm going to paint my pot too. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's so funny? Oh, I see we have company. Very nice to meet you. Um, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Cress. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better make sure the paint doesn't get smudged. Why don't I put these pots by the window to dry? Good idea, Grandma. I'd better be getting home. See you later, Zoo. Bye, all Zoo. Now, off you go and play, Zoo. I need the kitchen to make something myself. <laughs> hey, Pock, wanna play? Oh, all right. If you're too tired, I'll play on my own. <clears throat> Strange haircut. Oh, it's all my fault. Grandpa warned us. We're supposed to have our nature project ready in two days. I'd better go and tell Elsie. Hi, Zoo. Come in. Oh, that's nice. What is it? Well, I'm making collages for an exhibition. Just one problem with collages, though. They get sticky. <coughs> Where are Mr and Mrs Cress? I thought you were coming over to show Mum. Oh, Pock ate the Cress. Oh, no. We'll never grow more in time. What do we do now? You don't have time to grow more Cress, but there'd be plenty of time to make a collage, like mine. Only more to do with plants and flowers. How do you mean, Mum? Well... Why don't you collect some leaves and flowers and seeds? Then you could stick them into a nice scrapbook. I used to love doing that when I was your age. That's a great idea. Brilliant! Hmm. Oh, at last. Oh. plants could we pick up? Um. <gasps> Thanks, Pock. That's just the thing we need for our scrapbook. I think Pock's trying to say he's sorry. 
<laughs> well, that's all right, Pock. <laughs> I didn't know you read newspapers, Elsie. <laughs> I don't. I'm just pressing the flowers. Now, let's put this on top. There. All you need to do now is wait until your flowers are pressed and dried. They should be ready to stick in your book by the morning. Lexi, they're ready. <gasps> That's going to look great in our scrapbook. Now that's what I call a good job. It's even better than the ones I used to make. <laughs> I can't wait to show it to my family. <laughs> <laughs> and so much easier to take to school than a whole oak tree. <laughs> well done, Zoo. That's what I call a brilliant project. Still, it's a pity that Mr and Mrs Cress lost their hair. Yes, their heads will be cold. But I think I might have some hair restorer somewhere. Cress seeds! Ah, oh, thanks, Grandpa. Hang on, there are three packets here. We only need two. Oh, I see. The third packet is for pork. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 